Good day, guys. Being here, and um, today I'm going to show you a very quick one. So here I have uh, two walls, and this is a model in place uh, model. Okay, so uh, extrusion. Okay, so I'm going to show you this align. Okay, so if we go to manage you, this one. Oh, sorry, modify uh, align AL. So in 3D views, uh, we all know that if we use align tool and then pick this face, we will change the shape of this, right? Um, can we? Uh, let me just show you. Usually, if if you're doing, you know, place a family. If you if it's a family, if you use align, of course it will move this family to you know uh, uh along with this uh, w the, the face of the wall uh, can we do it can we can we just use align to move this yes we can align wall and then instead of pick this face just move your cursor onto any of the edge tab and click so this will allow you to uh, instead of you know uh, change the shape of this extru extrusion or model in place extrusion, you can use a line to move this family onto onto the wall. Um, okay, so this is one. Um, I'm not sure about um, in, in in floor plan. I'm not sure if um, let me just try see if it works or not. So looks like okay. So this is surface and tab. No, doesn't work. Doesn't work. <coughs> Looks like it doesn't work. In let me just try to pick this edge. Ah, uh, yes. So in floor plan, you can also do this, but you can't pick the. You can't pick this edge. You can pick tab, pick the corner. So you can use align tool to move the uh, model in place extrusion. Okay, so this is model in place. Um, now I'll just quickly create a new family. Uh, let me just use um, maybe just casework, okay? Casework, and so this is uh, already there. There are already um, parameters. So let me just ch uh, check this box. Oh, can't do it together. Maybe pick this one. Okay, so they are both instance parameter now, and I'm going to create an extrusion and ch uh, check. Uh, lock so I'll make it now 100 for example fi finish so now we have a parametric um, box load this into a, a fa uh, this project so now we can see all these handles because they are um, instance parameter so now what I'm want to try is I want to use align AL pick wall pick this so we'll see this um, exact same as the model in place extrusion so we'll change the shape so let's control Z try again so pick this and pick the, this corner tab oh, doesn't work looks like doesn't work oh yeah it works yeah so the same so if you if you pick this if you do not tab if you do not tab directly so we will change the sh uh, parameter of this family if you use tab so you can this one for this one you can tab on this edge and also you can tab on the corner see okay so if you do not use tab it will change but if you use tab you will move it in three let's try 3d view so if i al face okay so <laughs> this is op opposite so this is the instance parameter but if you can use a line to move it without using tab uh, i'll see if i can try to uh, uh maybe not uh, looks like in 3d view there's no way we can change the shape of this no way <laughs> okay so this is a second example so it's quite interesting you can um you can't do it in 3d view but in in floor plan you can use a line um, and either with tab or without tab you can you can change the shape or move it. So I'll show you another one. Uh, so this time, oh, actually, so let me just uh, edit this one. So, so this, uh, so this time, I'm going to 
delete these two reference plan and place reference line instead. So we know that if we use reference line, those two handle on, on these two sides, they will be visible in 3D view. Okay, so so this is um, sometimes we we use this method so we can have oh, and also just make sure so just go edit extrusion lock onto this reference line so finish so load this back overwrite so now if you select this you will see these two handle uh, visible in 3d view you can you can drag these two handle to adjust the parameter here okay so now let's try this one in 3d views so we can align, but if I pick, pick this face, I think it will move this family. Okay, Control Z, AL, align again. This time, instead of pick this face, we move your cursor onto here. So this is where the reference line is. See the reference line here? Can you see? So this is the reference line. If you align the face and then click on this reference line, you will change the sh um, sh parameter. You will change a parameter this parameter okay so yeah let's go back go to floor plan to have another try al pick this face pick pick this one so this will move the family but if i pick this surface and then try to pick this reference line it will change the parameter change the shape okay so um i think that's it um <laughs> Um, sometimes you might, uh, I think you, you might find it useful because sometimes, uh, for example, I don't like to use move in 3D view. I, I prefer, if I can, I prefer use uh, using either this extend or line rather than move. So let let me. So I think this can be quite useful. For example, you you have a wall that you know you have a family here and you have a. You need to move this but you don't want to change your size so instead of move move you need to move to there so you can just align face and surface and just tap and then you won't change the uh, size of this modeling place uh, extrusion so that's it uh, for today um, if you have any questions please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye